get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey, Falcons. Oh, we got some new stuff to do this week. We got new songs. We got new games, new activities, all new things to do. So you know what? I'm not going to talk anymore because I'm ready to make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, fourth grade, are you ready to take a trip? Are you ready? Did you pack your bags? I didn't ask you to pack your bags, but we're taking a trip. We are going. We're leaving the country. We are going to a different country where there are baguettes, a country where there is the Eiffel Tower, a country known as... France. In France, they have lots of songs, just like we have lots of songs here. And one of their most popular songs from France is a song I bet is going to sound familiar to you. It's a song called Frère Jacques. Listen. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonnez le matin, sonnez le matin. heard that song before? I bet if you haven't heard Frere Jacques, I bet maybe you actually have heard that song before. Now, how is that possible, you're asking? Well, this song sounds very familiar. If you think back maybe, well, maybe a couple years ago, maybe you learned another song. That sounds very similar. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Were you thinking of that song? If you've heard it before, I bet you were, because those songs are actually the same song. It's the same song, literally the exact same song. Just one is in English and one's in French. So we can probably figure out what the French words mean here. Repeat after me, Frère Jacques. Frere Jaca means Brother John. Dormez-vous. Dormez-vous. Are you sleeping? Sonne le matina. Sonne le matina means morning bells ring. Din, din, don. Now this one you're not going to believe. Din, din, don actually means, hold on, ding, ding, dong. I know that's hard to believe, but it actually is true. All right, so now that we know how to say the words, let's sing the song. I'll sing it, you echo back. Frere Jacques, dormez-vous, sonne le matin, ding, dong. Simple song, right? Now, we don't actually sing the words once. We always sing the words just like in Are You Sleeping? We sing the words twice. So... Let's try it together. I'll do it first. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques. Dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonne le matina, sonne le matina. Can we try the whole song together? Here we go. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonne le matin, sonne le matin, din, din, don, din, din, don. Nice job. Now, this is a song that is actually really cool because you can do it in a canon. You can do it in a canon. What does that mean? I'm not saying get in a cannon and kaboom, shoot yourself out of it. That's not what I'm talking about. A cannon in music is when we sing the same song at two different times. So you know what? I need, a, I need someone to help me out here. Oh, I got something. Hold on. Got my best friend in the whole world. My phone. Okay. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to sing this song into the phone. Here we go. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonne le matin, sonne le matin, 
Teen, teen, dawn. Teen, teen, dawn. All right, now, watch this. I can sing in canon with myself. Okay. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques. Dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonne le matina, sonne le matina, din din don, din din don. Nice job, phone. Loyal, good, good loyal phone you are. Okay, now, if you have a phone, or your parents have a phone, grab a little recording app on there, on the iPhone. There's the voice memo app, it's perfect, that's what I just used. You can record yourself singing this song, and then you can play it, and you can actually sing in canon with yourself. Let's try it one time, just you and me, okay? You start. Here you go. Keep going. Did you finish before I did? If you did, Congratulations, you were right. So have some fun with that song. It's a great song to sing in canon. It's a great song to learn a little bit of French. And I'm sorry if you actually packed your bags because we're, we're not actually, actually going to France. Money's a little tight for that. But that's okay. We can still have fun right here singing that song from France. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, fourth grade, we are back from our fake trip from France. But don't unpack your things because we're going out again. We're going back to Europe, to another country maybe. You maybe have never heard of before. I bet you've heard of a word very similar to, maybe your belly's ground a little bit. Maybe uh, you're a little bit hungry. Well, our country today is Hungary. Not hungry, Hungary, okay? Let me show you a picture of Hungary. Where is Hungary on a map? I will show you. Hungary on a map, you ask? Good question, there it is. It's kind of right there in the middle of Europe. See that little red Hungary right there? It's not actually red, and all the other countries aren't like you know covered in snow like that. But there is Hungary. Okay. Here's what Hungary looks like. Looks very nice, doesn't it? Well, you know Hungary is known for many things, but one thing they're really, really well known for is their music. Oh my gosh, they sing about everything in Hungary. People from Hungary love to sing. They will sing about the trees, they will sing about the birds, they will sing about anything they have. In fact, sometimes they will even sing songs that don't have any words at all. They just like to sing melodies. I have a Hungarian melody for you. It's called the Hungarian Canon. Because just like for Rajaki, you can sing the song in a canon. Let me sing it for you. Lu 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 it is a little bit tricky because you have to know the melody really well then. So listen, I'll sing it. I want you to echo back. Lu, 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 lu. Lu, 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 lu. Lu, 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 lu. Try it a little bit longer. It's a little bit of a tricky song. Even though there's no words, the melody is a little tricky. So listen, here's a little bit longer this time. Lu 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 Song. Here we go. Lu 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 Now, you know, an easier way to remember the words is actually if we move to this song. So, I'm going to move my camera here for a second. Give me one moment. I'm going to move it back. Here we go. Oh, you got a nice look. That's where I film all the other segments. Look at all the colored tiles, the colors, children. Okay. Here we go. Now, let's imagine that we just had a huge meal. We actually were really hungry because we went to Hungary, okay? And we got to work off some calories. Now, I know this isn't 
phys ed. I know I'm not the gym teacher, but I guess I probably shouldn't be either. But let's just bear with me here, okay? We're going to move around. We can touch our toes. We can touch our knees. We can touch our waist. We can touch our shoulders. We could also pat our bellies because we ate a whole lot, okay? See if you can stay with me. We're going to sing the song. I'm going to move to it. See if you can move along with me, okay? Some parts are easy. Some parts are a little tricky. Here we go. Lou, 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 did you burn some calories? Let's try it one more time. Here we go. Now that we know it a little bit better. Whew. Sweat. Sorry, your feet. Lou, 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 It's a little exercise for those of us who maybe play too many video games and don't get enough exercise. That would maybe be me. Don't ask my wife. Okay, now, I have another picture for you. The Hungarian flag is very interesting looking. I have a picture of it. In fact, I have a picture of many of them. There it is. Wow. Red, white, and green. Not red, white, and blue. Also, this is kind of like the Italian flag. The Italian flag is that. This is Hungarian. Okay. So you just sort of flip it around a little bit and you got one flag or you got the other. Okay. So let's see if we can point to this picture. It matches up perfectly with one part of the song. Lou, 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 Lou. That one part, you got to point the top flag twice, but it matches up pretty well with the second phrase. So let's sing the second phrase and point to it. Here we go. Lou, 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 Lou. This time. We'll point to it when we get to it in the song, okay? So watch me. Lou, 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 Lou. All this singing, all this moving. I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna get a little snack quick. Maybe you can do the same. And we'll be right back with some more music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, fourth grade, got a song for you. A song from, you know, we're going to keep our world tour going here. We're going to a country that, well, they don't speak French. It's a country that is in Europe, though. It's a country that actually speaks English. Can you think of a country in Europe that speaks English? A little hint there. English. England. Yes, exactly. England, jolly old England. A song called the needle's eye. It's about sewing. It goes like this. Needle's eye that does supply the thread that runs so truly. Many a bow have I let go because I wanted you. Mama taught me how to sew and how to thread the needle. Every time my finger slips, pop goes the weasel. Simple song. I have a We'll sing it. I'll see if you can sing it back. Listen. Needle's eye that does supply the thread that runs so truly. Many a bow have I let go because I wanted you. Mama taught me how to sew and how to thread the needle. Every time my finger slips, pop goes the weasel. A little bit longer this time. Needle's eye that does supply the thread that runs so truly. Many a bow have I let go because I wanted you. Mama taught me how to sew and how to thread the needle. Every time my finger slips, pop goes the weasel. Let's 
try the whole song together. Get those words. You need the words? They're down in the description below. So here we go. Needles I that does supply the thread that runs so truly. Many a bow have I let go because I wanted you. Mama taught me how to sew and how to thread the needle. Every time my finger slips, pop goes the weasel. Nice. There's a little game you can play with the song. It actually works really well if you have a whole bunch of people. But given the circumstances, we can still make this work. It's to be a little bit creative, though. You need a whole bunch of toys. It can be action figures, stuffed animals, anything you got. Some toys, okay? You're going to make a line of those toys around your room, around your living room, around your bedroom, around your kitchen. Somewhere where you can make a big line that curls around, almost like a piece of thread that goes around. It can loop around. It doesn't have to be in a straight line. It can go all the way around, okay? As you sing the song, you're going to walk along that same path that your toys are on. When you get to the word, pop goes the weasel, you're going to point at one of your toys, whoever you're right next to. And that toy is gone. Take him out of the line and get him out of there because he has been snipped out of the thread. And you repeat it. Needles I that does supply the thread that runs so truly Many a bow have I let go because I wanted you Mama taught me how to sew and how to thread the needle Every time my finger slips, pop goes the weasel On pop, you point to another one, they're out of there Keep going until there are only two left And then there will only be one left and that is the winning toy Okay, Kind of a different way to play that game If you have a group of people, you can almost do like a London Bridge type thing Where you have two people holding hands like this And then you have people walking in a circle through the tunnel, pop goes the weasel. You can cap actually capture the person and get them out. So it's a lot more fun with that way, but you can also make it work another way. So have fun with needle's eye and make sure you don't stick your finger with that needle. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, fourth grade, we're gonna write out an entire song. I know, don't worry, we're not in Europe anymore. We're, we're coming home. We're back home, I'm coming home. Okay, we're home. We're going actually not to Pennsylvania, though. We're going to North Carolina, where we learned a song from a couple weeks ago, a song that goes like this. Layla, that's you, my love. 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 Turn me in a hurry now. Shoo dolly, shoo my love. Turn me in a hurry now. Shoo dolly, shoo my love. Layla, that's you, 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 my love. Let's figure it out. Something to write on, something to write with. You're going to need four blank beats. One, two, three, four, and the bar lines. The first phrase in this song, listen very carefully. We actually know it. I think we wrote it out before. Bum, 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 bum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sounds like we've got syncopation. So, bum, 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 bum. Ta, dee, dee, ta, dee, ta. Yes, so we have the syncopation. Don't forget, with the flag, without the flag with the flag. Syncopation. Ta di di ta di ta. Just like that. Now, tell me something you notice about the next phrase. Bum 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 bum. Anything you notice? It's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. So guess what? Why don't we put a repeat sign? That way we can do it two times. Let's do it two times in a row. Ta di di ta di ta. Ta dee dee ta dee ta. Good. Four more beats. How about the next one? Bum 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 bum. Wait a minute. Bum 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 bum. What do you notice? Well, this song is really not that difficult. It's the same thing again. Ta dee dee ta dee ta. Hmm, what about the next phrase? Bum, 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 bum. You're kidding me. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Wow. Not too hard to do. Okay, how about the next phrase? Four blank beats. Turn me in a hurry now. Bum, 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 bum. That one's different. Is there even syncopation in this one? Bum, 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 bum. ta di ta di ta di ta There's no syncopation at all. You get a first grader to write that one. Ta di ta di ta di ta. Good. How about the next phrase? Four blank beats. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. You're kidding me. We're back to. Jeez. It's the 
the same thing. Ta di di ta di ta. Hmm. Now, hold on a second though. Let's start here again. Ta di ta di ta di ta. Ta di di ta di ta. What about the next part? Ta di ta di ta di ta. Ta di di ta di ta. That's done. Song is very repetitive. Put a repeat. And we'll do this whole section twice. You know what? What about the last part? Isn't the last part just like the like that? Yeah. So let's, at the end, we'll just kind of go back to the beginning and do that again. Guys, here's the whole song. This is all the parts of the song, all here. You can write it out every single phrase, or you can use some repeats and some other things to get from beginning to the end. Music, it's got lots of patterns, lots of things that make it a little bit easier than you might have thought. So write it out and have some fun. We're making Stop.